We often forget that cats and dogs need blood donations too, and your pet could be a hero by donating blood. When pets face emergencies just like humans, they need blood to stay healthy. Leah Bowling explains. I got to visit veterinary care and specialty group here in Chattanooga where they have an in-house blood bank for dogs and cats. Just like in people, there are certain conditions that require um, blood transfusions. It's a critical need and when they need blood products, there is no substitute for those. Dr. Pullen says there is a nationwide blood shortage, so donations collected here could be used locally or many states away. The process in dogs is very similar to you think about in people as far as they're, they're awake, they're not having to receive any medications. We try to make it a very stress-free environment. In cats, we, we do typically give a mild amount of sedation just so that they're not stressed. He says these donations are truly life-saving. There is no way to synthesize blood products. So just like in people, we have to have those components when, when necessary. We can give whole blood transfusions, packed red blood cell transfusions, plasma therapy. After blood is collected, it can be stored for up to 31 days. The only unfortunate part of that is pets can only donate every six weeks. So they can't donate as quickly as their blood expires. Blood bank manager Jen Best says this procedure does not hurt the animals. The collection process itself with the dog only takes about eight to 10 minutes. We only accept happy, willing donors. If they seem stressed at all, um, we actually don't see them as a qualified donor. It's not worth it to us to stress a pet to save another. Dr. Poland says their blood bank is always open and they invite people to get in touch to have their pets donate. They can set up an appointment to come in. They'll be, receive a full physical examination from the veterinarian. There are certain blood tests that we'll perform to make sure that they are suitable donors, screen for infectious diseases and things, and then can set up an appointment for the actual donation based on all of those results. We have information for how you can get in touch and donate on our website. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Leah Bowling, Local 3 News.